Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Jacob Dickey. I want to take the next three minutes and 30 seconds to talk through the winter pattern that is coming our way. We will start with today. What happens? Not much to look at here. A little bit of a clipper system sneaks on by toward northeast. That may bring a few flurries for us tomorrow, Wednesday here across Central Illinois. The fun looks to begin with the pattern change that starts to settle in by the weekend here. No longer the northwest clippers. Now, watching for those mid-south lows to come through here. Friday morning, probably waking up to snow in Kansas and in Oklahoma. That's the first system. I seem to think this system coming our way is probably a little far south for us. We're going to Saturday and Sunday for much in the way of impacts. We'll watch. There might be a little rain, might be a little snow here. It'll be kind of the appetizer. It leaves a trail of breadcrumbs for other systems to follow behind it here. It'll carry off to the northeast. Probably some big snow Sunday into Monday in the northeastern United States. Uh, we may still have a little bit here. We'll watch it, keep you updated. That trail, though, looks to continue. We might get another chance then as we go into Tuesday, lingering into Wednesday, and there may always be something behind that, a much more active pattern on the way here. Now, the Climate Prediction Center has come out with a moderate risk for heavy snowfall across a good chunk of the Great Lakes, uh, the Corn Belt here. Uh, that's going to include part of our area. That low tr pressure system track is to the south. If we want good snow in central Illinois, we got to get a low somewhere down by the Ohio River Valley. They don't always happen, and sometimes they happen we don't get any snow, but the combination of things with the low pressure track and also the cold air in place gives us something to look forward to. Let's talk here about ensemble guidance. We show you future track. That's one particular run. This is ensemble guidance. It's about 50 different runs of our weather data, and it looks for where it thinks Tuesday afternoon the low pressure system will be. Of note here, the average shows that low Tuesday afternoon somewhere along the Ohio River Valley. However, there is a tight cluster of these little dots in here that you can see on the screen. Those are individual runs saying, uh, you know, this runs that I think the low will be here or here or here. We get an idea that something is coming and we think that it's going to be right close to that region where we might see rain, snow, or a little of both here. It also is fairly strong, which means the wind is something else to think about with this as we move on forth. Now, we've got something coming. What about the weather around it? What about those temperatures here? Here's the six to 10 day outlook heading up into the weekend and early next week. Warmer air on the way out. Also a good sign for wetter than normal around here. We go beyond that. Finally, 8 to 14 day outlook colder than normal air around here. That cold air will finally settle in across the Great Plains. It'll be a nice source air mass where we could get some cold air to pull into these systems. Uh, a promising look, but not a guarantee here. But those steps are starting to look better and better for at least a chance or something around here. And you'll see here that 8 to 14 day outlook still looking a bit wetter than normal across the region. We could walk through this pattern miss out entirely, just be a cold rain, but I think there's enough systems, enough chances as this pattern settles in where something eventually will come along and bring something in the form of rain, snow, something like that in, into our region. The first chance looks to be that next Tuesday time frame on our seven day forecast here. We will watch a lot of time between now and then. The big pattern looks good. You know, if off of the distance, you're driving down the road, it looks pretty good, uh, but you don't know that three, four miles down the road, a little ahead of you, there may be some construction, some bumps in the road. We got a lot of time to see what happens with that, but I like that big pattern for folks who are maybe thinking, hmm, are we actually going to get some snow around here? That's been the question, Karina. People have said, it hasn't snowed here since 1970-something, na 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 you know. Feels like it, but I'm okay with that. I'm on team no snow there. <laughs> yeah, there, it's a very decisive, a divisive exactly. issue as well on social media where do you want the snow or do you not? Uh, if we're looking for a pattern that maybe says good chances for snow, and again, not a guarantee, but those boxes are starting to get checked there on that big scale pattern. This is what it starts to look like uh, this far out. So we'll watch, see what happens as we get closer. That load could change track uh, just a little bit. Uh, you know, 100 miles difference makes all, all of the change here for us. So it's going to be something we keep our eyes on. But I like what I see, especially if I'm a snow lover here in Central Illinois. Okay, so you want it. You like it. Well, I, uh, we've kind of <laughs> said we've been a little bored around here okay, in the month okay, of December. That's, that's but uh, personal opinions aside, <laughs> if I was a snow lover, this if is a pattern were. I would like to see. All right, sounds good.